Alrighty, we're back. Alright, so some flying dragon. Oh, you know what? My, uh... My overlay's a little off. I gotta fix that. Sorry about that. I had to drop that there for a second to change the name. Your name is on the banner, Miss WrestleMania. Hell yeah. Alright. So this is Flying Dragon. Mercury is still in retrograde. How's everybody doing tonight? Sir so Kai came in. Donated to the stream. Got to edit a few more things. Where'd that Nintendo go? You guys still with me? You still with me, Kai, so we can show you this? Ms. WrestleMania is still here. Hey, yo. Getting a peek at Flying Dragon. It's a fun game. It's a weird one. by Culture Brain. There it is. There's the box art for it. Yeah, I got it for Christmas in 1989. Interesting early kind of fighting game. You'll discover all sorts of games you haven't heard of on here. Uh, this is one I never did beat, so it'll be interesting.
Alrighty, are you ready for some flying dragon? We gotta take flying dragon off the game pole here. Four options now. All right, selected by. Make sure I spell this right. Got it right, correct? Boom. Alright, you guys ready? Are you ready for some flying dragon? I haven't played this since the late 80s. Let's see how this goes. Bling, an old Mario coin sound. So I'm going to grab something to drink real quick so you can witness the opening in all of its glory. I'll be right back. Grandmaster Wan was robbed of the secret scrolls of the hero no Ken. He entrusted the remaining scroll to his worthy companion, Genge of Shorinji, or Genge, or whatever. Ah, the music's bringing me back. Quarters of Canada, Texas, 1989. Let's do it. We're gonna go beginner. In compliance with Master Juan's last request, Ryuhi begins his journey to Shorinji. See how it's uh looks a little off on the screen. I'm gonna have to fix that. Do 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 do. Let's get this in here. Let's make it look good. So none of you have ever heard of this. All right, here we go. Oh, crap. I remember this being really weird. These platforming parts are goofy. Kill her. Get her. Get her. I thought I could punch. Having an issue here. Let me see. We're having having some problems. Having some issues. So nope, you've never heard of it. Alright. It's all good. Now you have. Culture Brain. I don't know how many other games they made for the NES. But yeah, I got it. I think I got it the same year I got Ninja Gaiden. I think it was eighty nine. But I don't remember ever beating this one. And yes, I'm drinking some of Dean's uh, 
Dean's drinks that he left here when he was staying with me. My apologies, everyone. All right, let's do this again. All right, sorry about that. Hiro no Ken is the ultimate kung fu stance that gives the impression of a flying dragon. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Gotta go get those secret scrolls of Hiru no Ken. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. this special boot or something game's weird there's the boot now I can jump higher thanks for picking this guy I actually was looking forward to playing this been a long time. I loved it as a kid. I always thought it was a little weird, but there was something about it that I really liked. And my my mother, when she saw it, must have really thought I would like this. Because it wasn't something I asked for. We used to get the Sears catalog every, you know, around November, and we'd start circling the stuff we wanted for Christmas. And the Nintendo games, were, I just went right to the Nintendo games. So I gotta get all these scrolls beat these little mini bosses and then I fill up those meters and I think I get a key so now I got it can like shoot a thing out of my fists boom Yeah, I was looking forward to playing this and oh come on you made it happen and I'm gonna die doing something stupid I might get it I can just run into him I thought that would kill her automatically and it did not oh there's the key
Just hoping to get some more life. So this, like I said, this is pretty bleh platforming. But now I get to do the one-on-one -on -one fighting. This is, so that's, the side scrolling part is just kind of, it's not the main, it's not the meat and potatoes of the game. So this is what it's really about. So it's the, like, really the first one-on-one -on -one fighter I ever played. Now it goes into this one-on-one -on -one fighting mode. You'll see what I mean. I commend you for coming. I'm Genji. Or Gen, is it, would you say Gen Guy? Gen, Gen Jai? Defense is the key since it is the first secret of Shorinji. While you are here, let's work on your defensive skills. It's not quite centered. Whoop! Oh. Wrong one. And that's kind of how the combat works. Listen carefully. Bum, bum, bum. All right, here we go. Try it. Time for some training. And I remember liking the music. Do I throw him or something? Remember, you can throw him. Got him. No, this is this is cool. I mean, it was a pretty fun game, and there was nothing else really like it out at the time. The trick throw. Kind of wasn't paying attention. Oh crap, it popped up too soon. Ah, ah. Wop. Ah, I didn't attack up. Man. Doing good there for a second. Thank you. 
I didn't really get the throw in, though. All right, Ms. WrestleMania, thanks for coming in. We'll see you next time. Blue target indicates enemy's weak point. Star indicates point where enemy can be eliminated with one blow. I didn't do the throw, though. Ah. See, how do you throw? I missed it. I think I missed it where he said and what to hit. I'm missing something. supposed to be hitting. What's up, Jake? Oh, yeah. I, thanks. Thanks, Kai. No, it is a good game choice. It's awesome. Now, I just got to remember, I think I missed I was looking over at the chat when he told me how to throw. Received a letter of challenge from the Tusk Soldiers Army. This is the army that stole the secret scrolls and eliminated, eliminated one. Defeat the enemy and recover the secret scrolls. One-on-one -on -one combat world tournament. Here we go. What up, Jake? How's it going this morning? Having become the Kung Fu Master of Shorinji. Rauhi. Ryu, Ryuhai. Ryuhai. Sets out to become the best one-on-one -on -one competitor in the world. This will not be easy. Several top-notch opponents must be defeated. Let's defeat him. Go Hayato. 5'9", 190 pounds, unique qualities, trained against a bear. All right. Litron, six foot one, 195 pounds, unique qualities, born and raised in the savanna. Min Min, five foot six, 95 pounds, unique qualities. Her skills in kung fu are unmatched. Dun, 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 dun. Demon Kabuki, 6'3", 220, unique qualities, nickname Laughing Devil. The journey. All right, now I gotta do something real quick. We're gonna look up how to throw. Because I completely missed it.
It's okay, so it's down and okay, down and B. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Again, I want to thank Sir Kai for picking Flying Dragon by donating $25 to the stream. Much appreciated. I don't even know what that does. Kind of like Kung Fu. You're playing Kung Fu? What's good today, Jake? Reaper. gimmicks. So here we go, tournament time. So now we're going to fight in some tournaments. Boom, let's do it. I'll do this one tournament, we'll get the password, and then we will call it an evening. So I think I'm going to do four. Yeah, it looks like four of these things. Maybe five, that thing up in the top. And by the way, Miss WrestleMania, I know you said you were going, but if you're still here, thank you so much for that suggestion on the cord. I think I just had a bad cord, and that was my issue. So I much appreciate you helping me that. All right, here we go. Tournament time. Here we go. I remember this music. I haven't played this game in 30 years, and I remember this music. Every little, every part of it. I played it a lot when I was a kid. I love this music. Throw him. What? Ah. Yep. Oh, we got out of the way of that one. Wop. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving on in the tournament.
Okay, probably not smart to punch the head. Ah. I just did it again. Good thing she didn't throw me. Got it. Ah, damn it. I've been able to hit that once. instead of defending. Alright, who's still with me? You guys still in there? What do you think, Kai? Not too bad, huh? Good pick. I remember all of these enemies, too. The music, the enemies, I love it. I used to play an old NES game that I really like. It is pretty cool, Sam, man. It's unique. And especially back, you know, in 89, 90 when this came out. Like, there was nothing else like it. Listen carefully. Tusk soldiers are masquerading as your enemies. Transform them and take back the secret scrolls. Then make your Hiryu no Ken perfect. Okay. Can I do that yet? I think it's the jumping kick thingy. Yeah, it's decent. Let's see, what year was this? Flying Dragon. Boo, boo, doo, doo, doo. I, mean, I swear I got it in 89. 1987 side scrolling platform game. So I, let's see, oh, there's a flying dragon for the N64? Huh, I didn't know that. So it came out in 87, actually. So I think I got it in 89, though. Alrighty, here we go. Let's keep it moving. Oh. <laughs> um. Just trying to, there's so many bad ones. Maybe I'll hit that one of these days. I'm trying to think. I mean, there's plenty out there. The first Final Fantasy I'm not looking forward to. Um, I, there's so many. I don't know why I'm having a brain fart. I think it's because I'm just focused here. Give me a second. <laughs> Kai, Kai, you probably probably smart for me not to tell people, but... I'm not looking forward to the to Karate Kid, and I'm definitely not looking forward to the Back to the Future games, the first one or two and or two and three, which is one game. Dang it! Got him. 
Oh, crap. He's a tusk soldier now. I need to jump out of the way of those. Space Ace, doesn't look good. Dragon's Lair. And Wizard of Oz. I really don't want to play Wizard of Oz for SNES. That's supposed to be pretty bad, too. Jump, huh? Alright, here we go. Do a little better this time. I gotta jump out of the way of that. Wizard of Oz, I don't know if there's a Wizard of Oz NES, but I know there's a really terrible SNES one. Alright, so we got a scroll. And I think that's where we'll call it a night. Gotta get a password. Do I have to die to get a password? I think I have to die to get a password. Jungle Targon is one of the Tusk Soldiers' army. They are an evil corporation. From a very evil world. Yeah, the AVG ended an episode on it, and it looks dreadful. Probably. There's got to be a way to get like a... I'm just going to kill myself here. Try to get a password. I think that's the only way I can get one. Well, that's a hell of a load time <laughs> for an NES game. Yeah, I need to try to get a couple hours of sleep because I gotta be back on here in a few hours for rewind. So I'm just killing myself. Just to say, I think that's how I gotta get a password. There's not like any saves. Game over. Never give up. I will teach you the password. For revival. And we'll use later. Alright. A-A-S-O. Let's just get a quick picture of that. Oh. 
It didn't give you much time, did it? All right, well, A-A-S-O, can you remember that? A-A-S-O, A-A-S-O. That was kind of ridiculous. Didn't really give me much of a chance there, did it? Let's just do this. I was going to snap, snap a quick picture and it just went right past it. Let's see if AASO works and gets me right there again. At least it's a short password system. Did that work? A A S Oh, it takes me back that far? Alright, so it's gonna have to be a kind of one playthrough type of thing. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, well, we'll run through it again. Well, that sucks. But there was no other way to really... Nah. We're done for the night. But I want to thank you for hanging out again. Let's actually raid someone this time, shall we? That'll do it for the evening. We'll see you, Kai. Who are we gonna raid? And uh, we'll just do the Sharpie thing. everybody good night and thanks for stopping in we'll do some more flying dragon next time here for mercury and retrograde we'll see you here in uh, about five and a half hours for some rocky mountain rewind <laughs>